Ted, thanks. Now, because both the governor's race here in Florida and the Senate showdown between Rick Scott and Bill Nelson are still too close to call, a deciding factor in both could be the weather. We're not talking about the forecast on Election Day, but rather the impact that Hurricane Michael could have on getting out the vote in traditionally conservative panhandle precincts. Our team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Ty Russell live in Doral tonight with that part of the story. Ty. Yeah, Diane, in-person early voting kicks off tomorrow here in Miami-Dade County along with Broward County and the Keys. However, miles away in the panhandle, voters there are already having several issues, and Hurricane Michael is to blame. In Bay County, buildings have been leveled, power outages are still widespread, and the need for food and water continues to grow. You just take it the way it is, man. We're still alive. House don't mean anything. We'll build it back or bulldoze it, whatever. Mexico Beach resident David Johnson is among the 121,000 registered voters in the county, which includes Panama City. It's where many polling places have been damaged weeks before the midterm election. Neighboring counties are dealing with similar impacts following Hurricane Michael. Last week, Governor Rick Scott signed an executive order to ease restrictions on mail-in ballots in eight counties, and the order allows election supervisors to extend early voting at mega voting sites. The panhandle is an area where most voters support Republican candidates. It's also a place where some people don't know where to vote on Election Day because of the damage. One website warns voters their polling place has certainly changed because of the hurricane. The governor is running to unseat Senator Bill Nelson, which could impact the balance of power on Capitol Hill. A new CNN poll shows Nelson with a slight edge. That same poll shows gubernatorial Democratic candidate Andrew Gillum leading Republican hopeful Ron DeSantis. They just held their first debate Sunday night. And even though the CNN poll was conducted before the storm and recently released, it's unclear what impact Hurricane Michael will have on voters, especially as they focus on rebuilding their homes and businesses. And even though we are just hours away from in-person early voting here in South Florida, already close to 230,000 people have submitted their ballots by mail. We are live in Doral outside the Miami-Dade Elections Office. I'm Ty Russell for CBS 4 News Tonight. Well, Ty